It's time for a check of the news. Here's some of the stories some of your so-called major news outlets somehow missed this week. Little Red Hen outsources bread-making operation to China. PETA to protest popping of weasels. Hungry Captain Hook wonders if Peter Pan will be creamy or crunchy. And big news in the world of celebrity gossip is it looks like the pumpkin eaters are headed for a divorce. Another seemingly rock-solid couple appears to have fallen by the wayside as Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater's wife Lois confirmed this week that she has filed for divorce. Though the news came as a shock to outsiders, online commentators were quick to blame the breakup on the emotional wear and tear caused by Mr. Pumpkin Eater's serial womanizing. In a new report, BuzzFeed says it has already spoken to at least 17 women who claim to have received explicit pics of Peter Peter's Peter. Lois attempted to put an end to the rumors, telling reporters yesterday that, quote, the truth is, I've just always hated pumpkins. She refused, however, to comment on a report that she was recently photographed canoodling with her personal trainer, Buck Buck Pumpkins Suck. With no children between them, the divorce proceedings will primarily focus on the division of the pumpkin eater's property. That includes their 2004 Winnebago pumpkin shell that legal experts say will probably just be made into a pie and sliced up. We'll be right back after this message. Hey everyone, it's your old buddy Brian Weefridge here. We all know that exercise is important, but not everyone can run marathons all the time. I mean, what if you're locked in a tower? Introducing Tower 90 Extreme. That's right, T90X, the 90-day home workout you can do from the comfort of your own turret. T90X is the finest in fairy tale and nursery rhyme fitness. We're not just exercising your head, shoulders, knees, and toes here, folks. Where other programs will try to get you with simple moves like upright, row, row, row your boats, we'll have you rocking your entire core doing planky doodle dandies and tackling the mother of all T90X workouts, ba ba burpees. And wait, there's more. If you ever do get out of that tower, you can even take T90X on the road with our wildly popular bonus dance workout, I've Been Twerking on the Railroad. Check it out. I've been twerking on the railroad all the live long day. I've been twerking on the railroad, shake my butt in every way. Hey, 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 get my old caboose moving. Oh no, I think my pants are torn. Can't you hear old Tony counting? So what are you waiting for? You know you're stuck in that tower till your hair grows out. Thanks to Brian so you might as well get in shape for just uh, three easy payments of a bale of straw plus Rumpelstiltskin's phone check. number. You can get, back, get back the body you had once missed. upon a time. Order now. Back now to the news. Let's turn the page and see what other stories we may have missed. Locks of Love reports record wig production after donation from Rapunzel. Chicago Blackhawks sign deal with Elsa after Zamboni breaks down. Ikea two-for-one Tuffet sale, a surprising flop. The fourth season of Fox's hit costumed reality show, The Masked Singer, kicked off last night, with gigantic woodsman Paul Bunyan being revealed behind the mask of the ox. In retrospect, putting an 18-foot-tall man in a blue ox suit might have been a little too obvious, acknowledged a Fox Network spokesperson following the episode. Showrunners admitted that celebrity panelist Jenny McCarthy guessed Bunyan's identity almost immediately after his off-key performance of the Monty Python song, I'm a Lumberjack and I'm OK. They did point out, however, that fellow panelist and noted terrible guesser Ken Jeong confidently declared that the ox was either Celine Dion or, quote, maybe Cookie Monster. The season will continue with a new round of singers next week, though online spoilers are already speculating that the costumed aardvark that's missing an arm and a leg may be the gingerbread. 